All right, this is my Monoprice Mini version one. I have done some upgrades to it. I just printed off that temperature tower. I need to get the uh, stabilizer bar in there yet. Get rid of some of them wobble, but as you can see here, I uh, done a lot of upgrades to it. All the sensors and wiring and put a clone Put a clone on there and changed out everything there, reprinted it all. Put the power switch and everything on the front instead of the back. That's for my parts fan and my LED lights, which I don't have hooked up yet. And the bed, of course. Moves back. Now we got the new button. We don't want another one. We should get out of there. But there's that. And we can just give her a little bit of a spin here. I got a couple of cooling fans there. I got my stuff in the way here. And of course I moved the the wires. I put a box in the back here. So uh everything connects right there and easy to take the bed off and change uh the temp sensor or whatever I need to do there, you know. So there's a new end stop there. And so, yeah, that's one of the three of my Monoprice minis that I have. Just getting this one running. I just actually have this in my uh, photo booth here in the corner next to my fish tank there. And then my other one, I got to get some stuff worked out on this one. I just about got it ready, but I got to reprint all this stuff here. I'm going to do that on the monoprice because it's the tolerances are just not right, and I can't get it to go. This is a trunksy. Uh, well, I forget what exactly it is, but yeah, I printed enclosures, of course, because I like my ABS because I have a ton of it. When I put this together, I put car purple carbon fiber all, all over everything, just purple and green. Just kind of make it look different, you know. Everybody always worries about these belts right away and have to have a tightener for it. But what you do is when, you, when you're building it, you just don't tighten this screws up all the way. You leave some gap down and you get this belt as tight as you can by hand. And then you can tighten these two screws up here. And you can actually do it on the front end and on the back and uh, tighten your belt up. You know, so it's nice and tight. I don't I don't have no belt tightener on here at all, but you can hear that. You know, it's tight. You know, this one here, I got it pretty loose, but it just don't move up and down. I've tried everything, and then, of course, all my electronics are over here on the outside. I got two power supplies and there's my Raspberry Pi. That's a PC power supply and then the power supply that came with it. And that's actually, I don't know why I didn't turn them on. That's LED lights for inside. So then you can actually see in there. But yeah, all this stuff, I mean, the enclosure was a dresser I found alongside the road. Just took it out and sealed it up, and then this uh, plexiglass, nice thick plexiglass here. I got that out of a dumpster, along with the piano hinges were on it, from downtown to here. And then I just cut it to fit, cut the angle, and printed out a little lock for her. And now yeah, it's turned out actually pretty nice, so. But now I get to try to edit a video of that temperature tower and everything get that monoprice running get these parts started printing so i can get this thing running because i really want to get this running get some bigger stuff going i almost got enough money to get my uh tivo tarantula that's what i'm gonna go with instead of the cr10 just because of the heat bed and everything and i like my abs i really like to print with abs i don't do a lot of printing with pla so, but we'll catch you guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.